Okay, you might be wondering why you're watching some unused drone footage from last week's shoot. And the simple answer is, it's because I haven't had time to film for today's video. Okay, I have, as you'll see in a minute, but not in the manner that I expected to be able to. I'll try to explain. Now, on Friday, my better half announced to me that she wanted to decorate the dining room. Now, this dining room has been a bone of contention between us ever since we met. The house that I live in is not a new house being built in the late 1950s. And when I bought the house 20 years ago, the dining room was actually the first room that I decorated. Now, once I'd stripped off several layers of wallpaper, I soon realized that the walls themselves were in a pretty bad state. The walls were horrific. It looked like someone had previously stripped wallpaper using a pickaxe. So as a quick make do and mend measure, because I was short of money at the time, I decided to simply put lining paper up, put an embossed wallpaper on, and then paint over it. With a view to coming back to the dining room a few years later and sorting the room out properly, which I never did. Now, my partner assured me that I wouldn't need to take part in this decoration, that she could do it herself and that it wouldn't be a problem. But being the type of guy I am, over the weekend, I joined in and helped her. And it soon became apparent that there were about two or three weeks worth of work that needed to be condensed into a week. The floor needs replacing, all the architraves need replacing, skating boards and the walls required re-skimming. Now to cut a long story short, it's now Tuesday afternoon and we're not even halfway through it. So the videos that I intended producing this week have had to be restructured somewhat. Now ever since I got the Triumph T120 I've always wanted those four bar badges for the fuel tank. But they are quite expensive and I've never really been able to persuade myself to part with the £100 that's required to purchase them. But my good lady volunteered to get them for my birthday and so I now have them. Also, Motone Customs have just released the last of their current contrast polished parts for the water-cooled 1200 bikes, that being the black contrast Union Jack carb cover, something I've been waiting for for some time. Now the intention was to show you how to fit both of these in today's video, but as I've said, things haven't gone according to plan. So that video is now going to be uploaded on Friday. Now I know the carb covers themselves, that's very simple and straightforward. There's really no need to show you how to do that. But I thought fitting the Triumph badges might be of interest to some people. So we are going to go through the full fitting procedure for that. Now next week I'm going to have to do the video that I intended doing this Friday. The T120 is now two years old and it requires the brake fluid changing. Something which is actually a little bit overdue on my bike. So all being well, come next Wednesday we should be going through that procedure with you. So please accept my apologies for this break in schedule programming. Normal service will be resumed as soon as the dining room's finished. And hopefully, all being well, fingers crossed, I'll be able to show you how to fit those four bar Triumph badges onto the T120's tank in Friday's video. I'm now going to go and turn my garage upside down in an effort to find my plumb line. So until Friday, ride safely, and I'll see you soon.